Hello and welcome back. We're playing Stalker Escape from Pripyat. Um, you did miss a couple of things, uh, nothing major, but uh, I was doing quite a lot of inventory management, a lot of uh, maintenance on our various weapons and just kind of breaking down of a lot of things because I do not want to have to carry half of my stuff uh, across the wasteland uh, or zone. Um, but uh, yeah, there was an emission. Um, if you don't know what an emission is, it's basically like a radioactive storm. Um, it's a natural kind of event in the zone. And uh, yeah, it uh, the, the most dangerous thing about it really is that it is, um, it tends to make bandits attack your local camp. My theory is that they don't really have m many places to go uh, if they're in the local area. So they kind of just end up here and they want to try and shoot their way in. Um, so it did, that did end up killing a couple people. Hold on a second. One moment here. Okay. I, uh, I noticed that my mouse wasn't locked in, so I, uh, needed to take care of that post haste. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, take a quest if we can. Is there any work you need done? Location garbage, makeshift outpost, faction bandit. Our patrols have reported the location of the supply unit of these coordinates. For some reason, the caravan has not yet reached the location of the group. They may have been hindered by mutant activity, bad weather, emissions, or something else. Search their caravan. Their supplies will be useful for to our group. Um, I haven't really, um, you know, done anything in garbage yet, but sure, why not? We'll take that. Is there any other work? You want basic tools. Um, a lot of stalkers have come here asking if they can tune their weapons a certain way, but I can't. Between the bandits and the military, I've lost all my tools. If you could get me some more, even just some basic ones... Uh, I don't want to do that necessarily um, for reasons I'll, I'll talk about in a second. Faction, military, we don't want to do that. Uh, mercenary, okay, no, we don't we, we don't want to do that. Um, that's that's too tough for us. We're good here. Um, I do have a cache that I have to go and pick up. There is a psi storm on its way um, fairly soon. I think I might have to end up loading if things get a little bit dangerous. Um, but one thing I want to make sure, so I broke down pretty much all of our extra ammo, um, for the sake of, uh, you know, getting extra spare parts when we can, uh, you know, start making our own ammo. Um, so, you know, that's, that's all kind of taken care of. You can see what, we've, what, what, what I've got work to work with here. Um, so we're good there. I've got some food. I've got some water, not a lot. We can try and figure out how to, um, uh, what I'd like to do is at some point find a medic to, um, buy purification tablets for, from so that we can purify our own water. But, um, for the time being, we're going to go ahead and, uh, check out garbage. This is garbage, I believe. Let me see here to the garbage. <clears throat> There's also, we have a cache in, I believe this is Agriprom. Yeah, Agriprom. We have two caches in Agriprom. Uh, Acroprom is kind of dicey for my point in this game, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, but we can, we can give it a go. Uh, I will be doing a lot of saving and loading in this game, and, uh, hopefully I won't have to do much backtracking, like, you know, loading old saves. But it may occasionally happen, uh, you know, it, just, it must be said that, uh, occasionally that is going to happen. But yeah, we'll go to um, garbage and we'll see if we can't take care of this situation. That is the supply chain there. It's actually not too far north. That sounds like the farm is already being hit, but um, not, not really my problem anymore. I don't think that I have to worry too much about NPCs dying. The NPCs actually have a, a higher um, like health uh, threshold than... Um, Oh, is that a dead rat? Uh oh, sounds like someone. Someone is usually bad. Honestly, I'm sorry it's all over for you. Please don't, oh. I can never see them, but they can always see me. Which is always a problem. Okay, they, I'm definitely being shot at, I think. Well, you missed me. 
friend. You did miss me. Uh, looks like he was already looting someone. Several somethings. Some, several someones. This is a, a zombie, apparently. We're getting shot at. Nothing useful here. I am, like, right next to an anomaly right now. Oh, a flashlight. That's kind of nice. Um... We can probably break that down for parts. Let's uh, take all this. I do find that the graphics for the anomalies tends to get broken sometimes. You might see that the animation for that anomaly over there is broken. Oh, is this a new SVT? SVTs are quite good rifles. Kind of want to grab the SVT, although um, that does mean we're now carrying around an SVT. Um, we'll see. It's not not too bad. We got a couple of stuff here. Actually, there's quite a lot of nice stuff here. Um, I tend to. Oh, we'll see. Uh, maybe I can disassemble some of this stuff. No, nope, not that. But that. Okay. Something is over there firing at me. I can't see them though. Oh. They threw the anomaly. Okay. Couple of shots, but that's not too bad. Go ahead and save. Um, this is gonna take a bit of time. I guess the, this is that is all the disassembled stuff. I'm not gonna bother with the pistol. Um, 76254. It is worth grabbing the ammo on that. And I'll grab the bandit uh, patches. Those are actually kind of worth it. Um, oh, and we have a anomaly map for the Red Forest. Could potentially be worthwhile. <clears throat> so now we've got another body to search through. What do we got here? I would, wouldn't mind staying kind of hidden if I can. Well, we got a bandit. Not really a big deal. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the anomaly... The anomaly is kind of like freezing like that. It's not ideal. Um, where is that lad that I shot? Is he like further over here? Okay, here he is. What well, we have a Taz. We do have a Taz. Um, we can unload the Taz. I don't really need that. We can field strip all this. Grab that. He had a health kit and a harmonica. Good stuff. And of course, some, uh, you know, recreational reading material. Which is not uncommon in the wastes. Um, it sounds like there's some nasty stuff happening over here. Oh, there is a military helicopter. It may be... Uh, I thought I, I did turn helicopters off but they seem to just be happening anyway so i'm not sure what the deal is um they tend to uh appear whenever you strike a military base so uh, you know uh it might be that they're kind of hard they're hard coded into the game somehow i don't know it could be an original call of Pripyat mechanic for all i know i i will should at some point maybe like again if the, if the series does well i'll play the original call of Pripyat just to compare a little bit. Got some radiation. That's no good. That's no good. I swear I did see someone over there. I'm a little bit worried about this helicopter. It's getting kind of close. Okay, we're going to stay hidden and then I'm going to go ahead and save. That way I know at least I have a sort of semi-safe... Uh, save. We are coming over here. Oh, this is a military outpost. That's no bueno. But is that the only way I uh, I know of to get to the gar garbage? Oh. It might be that this is the only way directly to garbage. Yo, he's having an AI problem for sure. A little bit worried about that helicopter.
They're gonna be making an appearance any second now. If I get killed by the helicopter, I will load and then head through the meadow instead. The meadow may be a much safer route. Let's try this with the AK. It's probably a bad idea. Well, that worked out. Not really seeing anyone else. And I'm also not getting hit by the helicopter, so this is all good news. Okay, so... If I don't hear anyone else, I might start looting. Guilt strip. Grab all that stuff. And an upgrade kit. Very nice. That is excellent. Also, one thing I did do between um, the last episode is I did upgrade my backpack. So it has five more kilograms of space, which is going to make quite a nice difference. Um, we have a gas mask, which is probably worth disassembling for some extra parts. Definitely, um, there's something there worth keeping. Could take this opportunity to cook something. I don't think I have anything to cook. Oh, I might... Yeah, I think I do, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and roast this up. Love this. I love this... Mo these moments of immersion are, are, you know, a good good thing about soccer. One of the reasons it's worth playing. General purpose handheld flashlight. This flashlight is actually... It's got a battery and it's functional, which is kind of wild. You can't... I think I can put it in my binocular spot. Uh, apparently not. I don't know how to equip the flashlight. Move to slot. Oh, okay. Apparently it takes the RF. Uh, I, I remember one of my, um, I think it was uh, one of my stream chatters was telling me that uh, you don't want a flashlight because it takes your detector uh, spot. Instead, you want to get yourself a headlamp because the headlamp doesn't take any spot. So that was a very... Pretty, pretty easy garbage. No, no problems uh, there, or I should say, um, entrance to garbage. If that was going to be too, pretty tough, we were going to have to consider the meadow. The meadow is interesting. Um, there is a very interesting facility there. I haven't seen much beyond the, the meadow. Like, I did have a quick look because I was given a mission to go there. And um, I did see uh, a poltergeist. That is the most advanced thing I've seen about this game. Um, so beyond this, you know, like we're, we're, we're going to be checking out the garbage. Uh, the garbage is probably, you know, it's the furthest I've been in this game. Article unlocked locations gar garbage. Something I didn't talk about last, uh, in the last episode is why am I playing this game? Like, what prompted me to want to play soccer? Um, there's two reasons, uh, on both sides of, you know, there's, there's like, kind of like bookends. Um, as you know, I covered, well, you might not know, I covered a game called Starcraft, um, for my channel. Um, mm. and... I really enjoyed it. It was a very, like, I, I was kind of obsessed with the game for a couple of weeks, and um, I put quite a few hours into it. If you don't know, StockCraft is kind of um, stalker meets Minecraft. And it definitely has a look to it. Um, it definitely, like, for some people, the look of it is going to kind of ruin the immersion of the zone. And I get that, but I personally found it that uh, I, I got over the, the graphical look of it and I just kind of enjoyed the um, atmosphere of it and it does actually do a good job of capturing the atmosphere of the zone in my opinion um, we are going to do this quest I also want to keep keep an eye on um, so this is the the only safe zone here so I'm going to want to uh, you know make a note of that because uh, if there is a side storm which I had, a, I was, you know, told that there was a side storm coming. Um, then I'll want to make my way there. Now, what do we got going on here? I'm hearing all kinds of gunfire. I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, I do see a couple of lads over there. 
I want to go through this, although probably through is never a good idea. Around is generally a good idea. So yeah, I played I played quite a lot of StockCraft and I enjoyed it and it gave me a taste for the the world of uh, Stalker. The on the other end of uh, my motivations for playing and getting into the Stalker universe is um you know Stalker 2 is coming out this year maybe. Uh, I do <laughs> you know the devs are in Ukraine and as you know there are a number of uh you know things happening in Ukraine. So I wish them the best and I I hope that they're doing all right. Um, you know, and uh, uh, really that, you know, it's very cut and dry, like the end. I don't want to, uh, my, I don't want to wish them well because I hope the game comes out because that's just very strange and kind of in poor taste. Um, what do we got here? Seems interesting. Also seems kind of dicey. Oh, I see. This is an entrance to another zone. Is this an entrance to Agriprom? To the cordon. Interesting. Oh, this is an, a separate entrance, so uh, without having to deal with the military. Oh, that's good to know. Um, yeah, I mean, Stalker 2 is coming out this year, and I mean, there was recently a dev post and a uh, uh, a number of screenshots. Um, you can kind of like make of that what you will um it's very easy to sc fake screenshots for your game these days and uh you know i know that a healthy dose of skepticism is certainly healthy for uh any kind of triple a game is stalker a triple a game question mark i don't know i mean it looks tr pretty triple a to me but um either way I, uh, it did pique my curiosity from the trailer. It looked cool. It looked at, like it had a mood and um, you know, I I definitely you know, I, I oh, 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 oh Ouch Give me a second here. You've got unspent trait points Okay, I might yeah, that's gonna be a solid load for me Okay. <clears throat> Carry weight improved. Stamina consumption improved. I love how I gain a bunch of stuff when I die. Because when you take damage, you're actually gaining experience. Um, one of the traits of this mod pack is there There are, are uh, kind of features of your character that you can level up um, from doing things like, you know, chopping up mutants, um, you know, carrying a lot of stuff, not carrying a lot of stuff, actually like having a low amount of carry capacity um like percentage wise is a is a good thing as well that also uh, that'll increase your endurance um and uh carrying a lot of stuff will actually increase your capacity i believe so there's interesting things in that regard um so we're definitely you know i, I kind of want to like these guys are in the way i, I believe there might be another way through here, but, um, you know, I, I like the idea of just, like, taking them all out for the sake of gaining some valuable loot. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's actually a lot of them. Yeah, this might be a bit too much for me. I might give it one more try. Um, if I could get a, a, a few good headshots right away, um, then I could certainly down a couple and it won't be so dicey. Uh, I should definitely reload before I take them on because, uh, you know, not having to worry about how many bullets are in my gun is certainly nice. So we'll see. I'll, I'll try it one more time. Uh, there's only seven. I'm only missing two bullets in my chamber, so uh, that's probably not the right way to say that, but you know, I think you know what I'm saying. What we want to do is only see a couple at once.
Ouch. Of course, if they come to me, that's a problem. Oh, why? What? Are we? Oh, we're loading different forms of ammo. This is not what I want. I only have five bullets left. Might be running out of ammo. Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is this is way too much. Wow, he took a lot of shots. Let me see if I can't heal myself. Probably not. I don't actually know what that was. That was probably not something I wanted to use. Stamina recovery, thirst, duration, rupture. I ha I do have a med kit. Let's let's use this. I'm probably going to end up loading, but um, you know, as long as the, there's a chance that we might have actually taken care of every all of them. Drink some water. We have a magazine left. We do not. That means we only have five bullets left, <laughs> like total. Uh, that's uh, definitely a problem. I de I really need to figure out how to um how to make ammo. It's on the to do list. But did I actually manage to kill them all? Certainly seems that way. All right. Well, this will take a lot of time to kind of get through them. I'm, I'm still not certain that I am going to, um, I, I'm going to like settle on this play because I'm quite hurt and this is a lot of looting and I'm not. It's not even part of my quest, so I do not know if this is something I want to really do. But, um, we'll see if I can get some ammo, um, five, 545 would definitely, well, we just got some 545. I don't know if it's the correct 545, but, um, I may settle on this depending on how safe I am as I loot these bodies. Um, can I disassemble this? Got some metallic scrap. We got an AK-74. Field strip all of that. Um, unload. I'll, show, I'll like reveal a little bit of my ignorance. Is I'm not even sure if uh, AK-74 isn't like a joke because I thought that it was AK-47. Maybe that, uh, you know what? I'm going to save. We're going to save. I can always load an old save. Yeah, the cache is like right in there. So this was actually the mission. So, I, I, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not dissatisfied with how that went. You attempted to disassemble. You didn't get anything. can pick up stuff while you are unloading ammo i am getting four five forty five thirty nine is that that is what i need okay so we're we're actually getting a nice chunk of of ammo go ahead and load that in our magazine i'm a little bit worried i keep hearing cracks and pops um off in the distance by the way, you can load different types of ammo in a single magazine, which I, I think is actually one of the benefits of uh, having to um, deal with magazines is that you can kind of like, just like do whatever. 
you have a bit maybe a bit more control why can't i load that in there though that's weird mm. fmj5 hmm i don't know we're not done we're not done uh looting there's still a ton of lads over here to 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 go through and then there's the quest itself Free stalkers, our men at the army warehouse welcome you at any time. Here you'll find true friends and comrades. I don't like the crackling of the Geiger um, that is going to spur me on just a little bit. Field strip, take all that, take all this. Go ahead and disassemble that. A little bit worried that I'm taking on a bit too much radiation right now. No parts acquired. Um, all right, how much radiation? I'm not too bad. Damn, that's sounding pretty bad. Okay, um... I definitely want to find the stash. I kind of want to look in the actual, you know, camp here. There's probably some nice stuff. Like that, for instance. Don't know what that was. Honestly, um, finding just a beverage is kind of nice, too. Wondering if this is a destroyable box, and it was. I don't know if... There was something there. I don't know what I got there, but something. Sometimes these boxes are destroyable. Um, they, it's usually easy to tell if they are destructible. Now, do we have any ammo? One bullet. You're really going to do me with one bullet here. Uh, three bullets. Wow. Wow. Wowie lad. Golden Star Valm. Rupture resistance, ballistics resistance, impact resistance. Good stuff. Um, what we really need is uh we need a med pack. We need to buy some med packs. I really need to put some of these on my quick buttons, because apparently I used up uh medic uh, radiation medication or whatever it was, and that's not really what I uh, needed. I could set like um let's let's do like um heads heads and shoulders knees and toes kind of thing we'll do um arms it's gonna be bandage arms and then legs right that's what uh, this is that's legs okay so we have heads and shoulders knees and toes and then we'll do rat rads at the very end there hopefully i'll remember that probably i will not but we've actually got ammo here. Um, there was a cache. I'm not sure if I already grabbed it or not. It looks like the quest indicator is gone. So I might head north to try and get to um, the safe spot. Just to, just to see what's up there. It looks like I can't climb up here. Which sucks because that means I'm going to have to walk through um, pop, snap, crackle, pop territory. Kellogg's get killed in the zone. Rice Krispies. Just want to make sure I looted everything. It looks like I did. I don't know. There might be there might be more bodies that I'm not finding. Can pick up magazines, but I'm at 63 kilograms right now. I think I can be like, if I'm 10 kilograms over my limit, that's when I can't move anymore. So I can go a little bit over, and I'm not even at my max yet. But the more I pick up, the more it's going to wear on my endurance. Um, we do have a beverage. And we do have food. This is, this is mildly toxic. Um, let's, let's do some mildly toxic food. And we'll down it with some mineral water or some kind of beverage. Um, strong energy drink. Sure. Uh, 
Those are reds. We're okay. I think we're all right. I mean, our, uh... We're not in great shape, but we're alive and our legs are okay, and that means we don't take a huge hit on our endurance. If I was to do another combat encounter, um, that would be bad, but I have a save. I can always go back and, like, you know, bandage up if need be. We, like, you know, we should bandage. Like, I could do, like, F2, and then we'll actually splint up our arms, because that's our shoulders. So now we have... Our arms are okay-ish. Also, I guess it would be... I just noticed we actually do benefit from uh, healing ourselves because we gain knowledge whenever we're using medical supplies. Speaking of which, I think I have a trait. I do have a trait point. It might be worth doing that. I could do like bullet hoarder. Compulsively unloading every magazine you find seems like a good idea to you. Unloading bullets from magazines goes 30% faster. That's actually not a bad idea. Um, you have a 25% chance higher uh, to not spend a use of your repair kit when repairing parts. That's... I honestly think I want to take something like that. Strong back. Is this carry weight? Mm. Carry weight would also be kind of nice. Gain faster movement for 10 seconds when taking damage. Medic. When using a medical item, you gain 10% of the total health and radiation restored as quick boost. This is all very good stuff. Um, you have a 15% chance, a uh, higher chance to not spend a use of your repair kit when repairing weapons. This is something I'm very likely to use. So let's go ahead and do that. I learned friendly face. You get a plus 5% better price at traders of your own faction. Um, probably a waste but i figured you want to take something like that as early as possible um because that's gonna pay out the most the earlier the earlier you take it the the more it will pay for itself and seeing as at the time um the at the time that i took it i was like running into many many problems uh financially speaking i just never had a dollar to my name a ruble i didn't have two rubles to rub together you know like uh i'm constantly trying to feed myself don't like this it's not good so here's our friendly stalker base i'm pretty sure indeed i did make it to this base um in shadows of chernobyl and that's about it this is about as far as i got in shadows of chernobyl because the next scene the next part was like go into the subway and fight bloodsuckers and um bandits and all kinds of stuff and i was just not like having a good time with it the weather is nice is it now so there should be someone here i can buy from as well as sell. I wouldn't mind selling some stuff. Oh my god. Were we fighting a chimera? That right there is a chimera, I believe. Looks like it's already been skinned. Um, truly hope that our traders are still alive. Okay, I'm, I'm not going the right way. I thought maybe they were upstairs, but I think they're just like in this little shack over here. Hello. All right, let's let's see what you got. Cozy place you have here. Damn right it is. Welcome to the train hangar, repurposed of by yours truly into a humble hunting lodge. It's a safe place to unwind for the most part. Tell me about this lodge of yours. Uh, simply put, this place is for hunters. Whether they're professional or amateur, doesn't matter. I reward those who take on hunting jobs for you. For me, sorry. Uh, I pay you well for any mutant trophies you might turn in. I also sell you uh, food and hunting equipment real cheap, unlike some other traders around here. The desire to share my passion with others comes first. Never cared much for money grubbers anyway. Are there any other, uh, other hunters around here or just you? Hunters from Rostock and Dark Valley tend to stop by here, although it's not always easy to get, uh, getting them to get along. Besides that, I had a few mates here with me. We all, uh, we were all hunting partners in the outside world, you know? 
Gonta, Trapper, Fox, all good people. We all got together down here to have a proper funeral for Fox, but sadly the other two couldn't stay. By the sounds of it, the stalkers up north really need them. Maybe I'll go pay them a visit sometime. Um, why don't the traders and guards at the flea market live in the hangar? It seems a lot safer and more habitable. You know what I think? I think Duty's high command are secretly paying them to sit there. I Am I dying? Sometimes I wonder. Am I okay right now? Sort of like lookouts to spy on the goings-ons between Rostock and Dark Valley. In any case, those traders don't really have the hunting spirit. For them, it's all horde, horde, horde. So really, it's just as well those magpies haven't moved in. Is there any work you want done? Location in the garbage east of the dip depot. I'll do it. Glad. I, I like the hunting missions. They're they're good and they usually pay pretty well. Uh, you want a chimera horn? Uh, no. Psy dog fur. I haven't encountered a psy dog yet. I don't know. I want to do that. Mutated crow beak, as I understand it, these are really hard to come by. Target cat claw, seven of them. Uh, I don't know if I want to do like mutant part missions because they are going to be kind of hit, hit or miss. And I don't know what the timeline is. Anyone can hunt down a mutant and wear its part as a symbol of achievements, but to create exceptionally spectacular items, it requires real skill. Bring me some trophies, I'll craft some stylish mm -hmm. accessories out of them. Alright. Anything? Yeah, Chimera Horn uh, is much of the same. Hey, you've probably hunted loads of mutants in your time. Do you have any stories about them? Uh, let me tell you about the Snorks. They're so-called thank uh, thanks to their masks and the hellish sounds they make through them. All those disgusting slurps and grunts. Anyway, it's a commonly held belief that they're the remains of the first military expeditions into the zone. We first started seeing them around 2007, when an army guy got attacked by one while waiting for his transport. Back then we called them recruits, not snorks. Don't let their gray decomposing bodies fool you. Their muscles are lean and powerful, and they're able to leap great distances through their, the air to reach their prey. Just one of them is bad enough, but an entire group of snorks means you may as well save yourself from pain and off yourself right there if you got enough, uh, got caught unprepared. Fortunately, they're usually only found in large numbers underground. Well, usually. The greatest mystery is how they breed, how their numbers stay the way they are despite hunters trying to cull them for years. A passing scientist told me they might be mo uh, mulags rather than the remains of real people, but I don't know what that means. Neither do I. Um, all right. Well, let's see what you've got. You've got some food. What is this? Oh, a serve. These are supposed to be really good. Field surgical kit with additional and better tools allowing you to treat serious limb injuries right on the battlefield. These are supposed to be dang good. Uh, mineral water at a not terrible price. Although it's only got one drink in it. Gas lamp. Grooming kit. Don't know what the grooming kit is for, really. Uh, Pro Mag Arc Angel Polymer Stock for Remington. <laughs> That's a very specific tool you got there. Camelback. Um, although water has low uh, electrical conductivity, its proximity to the body may make you more vulnerable to electrical currents. I don't know what this does. Magazine pouches. Some of these are, um, some of these I don't know what they do. Uh, I could probably use a new survival machete pretty soon. Um, unfortunately, the one I've got is lowering in, con in condition and I'm not really sure how to repair it. It might be that I need a whetstone. That would make sense to me. It would also make sense to me that this guy has it. Three piece sharpening stone kit. Knives and blades, not usable below condition level 10%. All right, well, we're gonna need that. Will you buy any of my stuff? No. Well, you'll buy my mutant parts. And he actually gives a pretty good price. This is far better than uh, I'm used to. So, nice. Um, not bad at all. What is this? Steel wool, okay. I was, I was thinking that looked like a whetstone a little bit. Um... Well, I probably should buy some food. Do I have anything I can cook? I do have a little bit of food. All right. Characters butcher. 
Um, we do have a place we can sleep. We probably do want to sleep for a little bit. Just to, you know, recover a little bit. I don't know why um, I'm taking on radiation right now. I wonder if I, like, picked up an artifact by mistake. We have a package. Oh, I should uh, open that up. Don't expect the next outfit, uh, outfit shipment. Got some 9mm rounds, some 762.54. Nothing too exciting. 10 round magazine. Um, SVT might end up being my next gun. I'll have to consider that. I might have some decent parts for replacing to, to replace with the SVT. Um, I have another package here. Not sure what we got. Don't forget about this package in the north northern region of Agroprom. The frequency is 127. Uh, this is good to know. I'm going to go ahead and throw our... Um, where is it? Where is our RF? Oh, we already have our RF in place. So let's go ahead and set this to 127. Hold on, I'm going to... Throw my bottle cap for my cat here. Okay. Uh, and that way we can um, be ready to go and pick up that package. Uh, one complaint I do have about this mod pack is that it tends to want to stack parts even if they have different endurance or different conditions. And, and then you can't really like tell what's going on anymore like one of them will have one condition and another will have another condition and it just it's just kind of a pain um let me see here these are that's artifacts here we go but those are parts i want to replace our parts i wonder if i can like have multiple no i don't know if i can have like multiple uh filter options on it looks like no i can't which is a bit of a pain because it means well, I guess I can reach it here. Hold on, my cat has brought back the bottle cap, so I must throw it again, you understand. Come here. Oh. All right. So what parts does it need? It needs a, well, I don't have the replacement part there. Uh, oh, it needs that same freaking gas. It might be, hmm. Let's see, really the only part that needs, like, fully replacing uh, is, is I think that's the gas. Yeah, the gas system. The The barrel is also destroyed, so we're going to need a new barrel. Do I have an, a, a barrel that would work? 18.5 millimeter barrel. What does this need? Um, well, let's just take it out. Whoops, didn't mean to eject the magazine. Although this is a... Okay, so that's, this is a rifle that uses a magazine. Good to know. Let's remove the barrel. This is a 762 barrel. This is not the right one. That's not the right one. Okay, so we don't have we don't have the right barrel. Um I Do kind of wish I could like pin that so I know which part I need. Did you bring it back? Good job. So we need we need a replacement barrel. I'll go ahead and throw this back on there. That's a good way of keeping track of what barrel we need. Um, but in the meantime, we've got a bunch of just junk, j j a bunch of junk that we don't want to have to carry around. I don't have anything that I can replace. We do have one of these. I could throw that on there. I might have a better. No, that one's much the same. What about this one? 85. Like, again, I, I kind of wish I could just, like, split these apart or, like, you know... Oh, I see. Oh, you can click... Okay, you can actually click on them. Never mind. All right, that's that's good to know. So I can click on them, and then you can select the one you want and then put that on. Okay. Good to know. So if I really wanted to replace... Uh, like, if I wanted to replace my SKS with this SVT then I could uh, put the gas... It's the same gas system on the SKS as it is on this. 
but I don't know if it's the same barrel. It actually is the same barrel. So if I really wanted to, I could switch from the SKS to this, but I don't think I do really want to. I don't know if that's something I really want to do. Did you bring it back? Where is it? Did you lose it? He lost it. He always loses it. Um, okay, let's... We can just drop these. I don't know if there's a box nearby. There's sometimes a crate that you can make use of. That might be it there, actually. No. I wonder where all the stalkers are. I wonder if they got all killed by the chimera. And then the chimera probably bled out. I wouldn't be su uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happened. All right, we're going to have to sleep a little bit. No matter what. So we'll sleep like 8 hours. That'll recover our limbs and our health by quite a lot. Problem with that is now, um, you know, we need to eat and stuff like that. So this is moderately toxic. Can we eat this? Mildly toxic. We're going to have to eat a couple of things couple of mildly toxics I mean, like i say it's easier or it's at least cheaper to do this and take the medication to remove the toxicity than it is to uh do it any other way i probably want to buy some water i wouldn't mind trying to figure out how to um you know prepare water our health is a bit better right now but uh, we, we, we are going to need more water. Okay. Do you have... Oh, you have, a, you have actual med kits. Let's buy one of those. That has three uses, which is quite nice. Um, I'll buy some water. Uh, I should sharpen my stone army kettle um i'm features a convex convey cave profile is supplied with i think this is a for treating water i think so anyway um this is five thousand I, sh I can't really afford to be buying stuff like this but then again i maybe i can't not afford to be buying stuff like that I'll sell him my extra magazines. Actually, I think I need one of these. Yeah. If I want to make use of the SVT, I got to be keeping at least one of those. Um, I wish he sold like flasks of water instead of like just the basics. So I guess I'll buy one of these. I don't know why I put both on there. Hold on a second. Uh, ugh. Sometimes this interface is a little bit clunky. Okay, we'll buy all that. And I, ha I have some water now. Which we're definitely going to need. Um, we'll do one more swig of that. So did I buy that kettle? Just curious, did I buy the kettle or did I forego the kettle? I think I want to buy the kettle. Let's buy the kettle. Um, I actually, annoyingly, I have a one of these, a multi-fuel stove. Um, back at... Uh, my main base, but I don't think I need these so long so, so, so long as I have a stove nearby, like any kind of heat source, like a fire, I think I can use that. Uh, 
Um, so now I should be able to... Like, if... Oh, did I already... I, I guess uh, the, the mutant died. This is what happens is uh, if I take mutant jobs like this one, then uh, they usually die from natural causes. Have anything else? Psydog fur, mutated crow beak, target. Find common mutant hides and pelts. Flesh hide. I'll do it. Okay. Um, so that means I have to find cats and now also fleshes. Bloodsucker jaw, pseudo dog meat. Well, we've got we've got some missions for now. Oh, there's the uh, there's the crate. So I could store some stuff here. Um, do I want to? I guess I want to. We'll store all this crap for now. I'll definitely want to grab it. Uh, at a, you know, also the SVT. I don't really want the SVT right now. I'll, I'll definitely grab this stuff um, when I'm w wanting to head back to the cordon. Um, I'll store that as well. I will. Um, we need to find a water source. Like any any puddle, basically, will do as a water source, and then we can um, fill it with putrid water. Now we can, um, well, there's a couple of traders over there. You know what? Let's grab that stuff back. That's my bad. There's a, a couple other traders. I don't know the, if they're going to want this stuff. I, I guess it's just a take all button. Um, I don't know if they're going to want that stuff, but we can give it a go anyway. Better to try. They're not that far away. But uh, at this point, I just want to kind of explore a little bit the gar the garbage. Um, but, you know, we have a mission now. We, w we need to kill cats and we need to um, probably find some fleshes. I, I wish those anomalies, the animation wouldn't break on them. It's the only bug that I've encountered that, that kind of breaks my immersion in this uh, mod pack. I don't even know how these anomalies work. I think they might be black holes or something. I wonder... Um, oh yeah, I also have to find that stash. I'm pretty sure it's around the north part of the map. They keep saying it's at the northern end of garbage, which is pretty close by. I was probably a lot closer than it needed to be. Is that a dog frozen in space? Some of these animals are not okay. This is worth, uh, uh oh. <laughs> the game crashed. Uh, oops. Yeah, that's that's gonna happen occasionally. Uh, it hasn't happened very often, but every time it's happened, it's because I was um, capturing it. Well, I'll see you soon. All right. So you know, sometimes, sometimes things go uh, slightly awry. I wonder if this is before I got my quests. Let me have a real quick look here. Chimera claw, side dog fur, crow beak, flesh hide. Mm. Um, the job is done, apparently. Uh, this is before I, maybe I bought that, uh, kettle. Anything else? Mutated crow beak, bloodsucker jaw, rodent meat. Sure, I'll do rodent meat. All right. Um, so did I buy that there? I think I did. Where is it, though? I don't see it. Oh, no. I wonder if it, like... He no longer sells. Oh, there it is. I did buy it. Good. Nice. I also have 12,000 um, rubles, so I'm not sure what's up there. Do I still have my sharpening kit? I don't know. 
um, this is the problem with like doing saves around and like before and after you've made trades. Let me let me buy a sharpening kit real quick. Um, I'm good on food and water ish. I do have that water. Okay, so this is yeah, this is a pretty recent save. I thought I bought a sharpening kit though. Slightly concerning. It looks like I didn't. Okay, well, I'll buy it. It's not expensive. Oh, this is not for... Oh, this is... This is for our uh, knife. I did not know you could use this on a uh, Swiss Army knife. That's what we use to disassemble things, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, so we definitely want to repair our knife. Remember, doing stuff like this uh, gives us experience. It's worthwhile. And I will save after I've done this. Um, get that back up to 30%. Buying a sharpening kit is going to be way cheaper than buying another Swiss Army knife. So, you know, worth noting. That being said, I guess, we, you know, one sharpening kit is probably exactly enough to repair our Swiss Army knife. I want to get this knife a little bit higher before I use it up completely. I do like the little sound effects for when you're repairing stuff. Um, and I think we do have a slight advantage. Um, I, th I think that was one of our traits was that we have a chance to repair without using up a kit. Although I, that might have been for guns. We have a quick look gunsmith. You have a 15% uh, higher chance to not spend a use of your repair kit when repairing weapons. Weapons, not tools. But anyway, our repair kit is now done. Um, which is fine. We got, we got a pretty good set, you know, use out of it. Looks like a dog is approaching. Tell me more, friend. Okay, so good to know. If you see floating dogs, do not try and skin one of them. The game will crash. The animations are still frozen. I think that these anomalies, these specific ones, are just, like, forever broken. Which sucks. I might have a look, a quick look online, see what's up. Could be that this area is kind of broken. I wonder if there's maybe an anomaly, uh, an artifact in this area. This is the kind of area that an artifact would spawn in. More, more baddies. Uh oh. Cannot tell if those are bad guys or not, which probably means they are bad guys. This is what I do: is I walk up to them. Well, they're not shooting at me, so that means they're probably good guys. Um. You got anything to sell you? Oh, this guy is a surgeon duty. I've never seen that before. Will you buy some of my useless crap? You'll buy my nine millimeter. I will certainly sell you my nine millimeter and my four five. Sounds good. Huh. Okay, so good to know. People uh, from the duty faction are in semi red uniforms and they are uh, on good terms with me. I am on good terms with them. That is to say Okay, so we're not skinning that there's no floating dog this time which is actually a good sign that the game is behaving itself It might be that this is a duty faction area I've never been to this area in any iteration of stalker So we'll have to see Flea market. Oh, okay. This is what the, the guy was talking about. This is flea market. There's probably some people here who can uh, give me some more quests. Got anything to sell? You're also on duty. Yeah, okay. So these guys are part of duty. They will not buy my worthless junk. Unfortunately. 
Um, I well, you you'll buy my magazines though and this stuff. Good to know. The game is uh running is having a couple of problems right now. Uh, what is this? Can I broken detector? Can I disassemble that? Probably. So I won't sell that. Um, buy my flashlight. Probably. Yeah, let's sell the flashlight. I don't really need that. I'd rather get a headlamp if I can. He's got some interesting stuff. He's got a weapon body upgrade. It's usually, like I say, worth buying those kind of things from people rather than traders. Um, but still, I don't think I want to do that right now. Is there any work you want done? Sorry, nothing. Okay. No. This guy, I think, is just a normal stalker. Pseudo dog fur. Have anything else? No. Nah. Got anything to sell? Nothing. Okay. Um, there's probably someone either oh, below yeah. or above me. Any work you want done? Dog meat. Eh. Uh, nah. Do you got anything to sell? He's got some duct tape, but he's also got some money. But he won't buy any of my stuff. Okay. Well, he'll buy my shovel. Sure, I'll sell you my shovel. Why not? Something is happening over there. So I have to wonder, is it the flea market below me or is it above me? It is above me. Or at least this guy is above me. I would like to buy some equipment. Oh, he's got some good stuff. Uh, expert tools. Oh, those are, those would be very nice. Unfortunately, they're 64,000. Can't really afford that right now. I really want to get some gunsmithing tools. Um, we've got quite a lot of nice stuff here. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned that is starting to get a bit closer. Is that a bandit right there? I feel like the AI is a little bit broken. This guy looks like a bandit. No, he's the one who was trying to get me to get um, pseudo dog fur. I think there are some bandits who are making their way over here a little bit. <laughs> the AI is like truly broken right now. Um, all right. Back to this. I want to sell this junk and you will still not sell it or buy it from me. That is really unfortunate. You have a ADAR carbine. Oh, an actual, actual legitimate SKS. Unfortunately, there are no attachments that fit it. So that sucks. I would much rather keep my modern SKS. Um, what is the base cost on this? This is... Base cost sixty thousand. Why is this one a hundred thousand? Bizarre. I don't know. All right. Well, that's that guy. Let's see if. Oh. I don't know if I how much damage I took there. Where is the other guy? Is he here? The game is not behaving itself right now. So this guy has got some much the same kind of stuff. Almost exactly the same. And he will also not buy my crap. A shame. I think I accidentally stole his tin of beans. No, it looks like I didn't. I wouldn't mind stealing his tin of beans. Wonder if he'll get mad. No, apparently not. Well can absolutely use that tin of beans, so I will take it. Uh, I kind of have no ammo right now. I only have three bullets with the S uh, of 762. I've got, like, nothing. Need to find some mutants. I really do want to accomplish something. Uh, there's still that quest I need to uh, do north of here mm. 
Okay, that's a good guy, I think. I'm not sure what's happening over there. Something bad. I want to go north. And I'm going to start... I'll, I'll pull out my um, RF. What this thing is going to do is it's going to start beeping when I'm close to a, the, the cache. Or uh, that is to say the stash. That has been deposited for me. These tend to have toolkits, so they're actually very good. They are not necessarily super easy to find. Those do not look necessarily friendly. Checkpoint by Rostock. Okay, I wouldn't get this close if uh, they were unfriendly to me, I think. On duty, he's got some money. He will not buy my crap. No one's gonna, no one wants to buy my crap. I really, I need to sell my crap, but no one wants to buy it. Okay, um, this is about as close to north as possible. I guess I'm not going north right now, I'm going west. Hold on a second. This is north, so can't really go any more north. I'm assuming that this is a, the entrance to the next zone. You can still have a look in here. Sometimes this is, uh, what we can do actually is we can have a look at our log messages. Um, bup, bup, bup. If you can get me to a good cut, I'll be fine looking for an experienced stalker. Hmm. It'll usually appear in here somewhere. Any work you want done, I'm good, what's up? It might even be the first one. Ah. Don't forget about that package in the northern region of Agroprom. And I am in the northern region of Agroprom. Correct. Oh no, this is garbage. This is Agroprom. So I have to head to Agroprom. Oh, whoops. Um, what I really need is some ammo. I find myself in a precar precarious situation right now. I need some 7.62 and some 5.45. Might have to switch to my shotgun pretty soon. If I find any water, I'll have to consider that as well. Those guys over there, I don't know if they're goody, good guys. I, I really, that's the one thing I struggle with with this mod pack is I, I have no idea who is who. Like, those guys, I could go either way. Could be good, could be bad. Yeah, okay, so they ended up being bad. We'll probably end up loading. Choke, splutter. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got, they've got some really nice stuff. And they've got an artifact as well, with a meat chunk. I meant to try and sell, I actually already have a meat chunk. Not on me, I guess, but... Um, we're gonna go ahead and use my health kit. Jeez. 
Jesus. This guy will not die. I can't really tell what's going on right now. So, of course, I'm just going to uh, ignore all of it. Uh, I think I'm like almost completely out of ammo. I'm not sure why I'm pulling that out. I need to uh, get to Agroprom before that's even relevant. I think I've created an, uh, a little turf war by accident. Ow, okay, we're being shot at. Just want to get to Agroprom. Also, I keep hoping that um, one of these lads will drop some ammo that I can use. I have a very tiny amount of 545. Um, we've got so much 764 and 762, but none of it I can use. Which is a shame. I think I'm still dying. I might have to load. I don't really want to use a more health kit for this situation. It just seems like a bad situation that I've put myself in. Maybe I'm not ready for aggro prom. I'm certainly like, I'm still in a very precarious place right now because I, I need to, I need to be able to make ammunition clearly. Um, so this is before I killed these lads over here. That was silly. Oh my god. Okay, that's one dead. Ouch. That was a headshot. Well, that's a load. For sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be super worth it. I, I wouldn't mind just like letting these guys do their thing and move on. But um, it might be a good place to break the episode. I mean, it's it's uh, becoming kind of long in the tooth. I really just want to kill one of these guys with it. One, one clean headshot is not what I did there. And that's all she wrote for that. Okay, well, that might be worth keeping. I'm going to run over there and grab their stuff and then just move. I'm not even going to bother disassembling right now. Sometimes that happens. I don't know if you saw that, but there was a shotgun there and then it disappeared. Sometimes that happens and it's a little bit frustrating when it does. But it's whatever. So it's not the last gun that'll ever appear. I only have 27 bullets right now, like to my name. In my uh, AKS. It's 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 not a great situation. Um, I'm you know, I got a little bit of ammo 
but three bullets is not going to do it. <laughs> I'm hoping that what we get from uh, this, the, the caches over here will, um, you know, I, I'm kind of hoping to, to just like get the, the, you know, the grace of God luck. And one of them is just a gunsmithing toolkit. That would be like, you know, chef's kiss. Amazing. But uh, I kind of doubt it. The, the best case scenario in a lot of ways is probably an advanced toolkit. Um, then we can start looking at crafting things. I have a basic toolkit right now. See a couple of people moving over there. Those could, pr those are probably stalkers since the, I'm in a stalker area, but they could also be bandits. I've not been getting lucky with the, the whole, you know, bandit situation. They look like stalkers to me, but either way, I'm going to actually, they look like stalker clear skies. Because they have the slightly blue uniforms. I'm going to move on to Agriprom. And you know what? That's probably... If I can make it to Agriprom here without much issue, that'll be a very good place to end the episode. Things are, are really dicey right now. Um, but, you know, I, I'm enjoying this. I do have to do a bit of save and load. It's a little bit of an immersion break um, from what I'm used to. I'm, I'm usually, I'm used to trying, like, you know, dying is is bad and means, like, restarting the whole game. I haven't really played a lot of games like that in a while, not even, like, Caves of Cud. But, like, it's not something I'm used to doing, where you, like, you do it as often as, as this. But, um, you know, once you get used to it, the idea of doing it, then it's it's fine. And usually when uh, on my second or third attempt on a, in a situation, I, I usually have a pretty good sense of how to do things. Um, right now, my, like, the worst uh, difficulty that, you know, the worst that this game has to offer me in terms of difficulty is the survival situation. Like, I need to um, get some better tools and some drinking water and food and stuff and uh and then i need to be able to make bullets if i can like bullets food water if i can check all of those boxes in a renewable sense then i will be a much happier for it and then we can start thinking about like um advancing like actually getting some better guns a better equipment and uh you know actually take on some of the harder parts of um pripyat and maybe even head deeper into the zone. So we are in Agriprom. Agriprom is supposed to be a fairly confrontational zone. Um, I did make it to Agriprom in uh, Stalker Call of Chernobyl. Did that? Is it already broken? This is uh, one of like. One of these caches that's supposed to break. Doesn't look like it's breaking. There's nothing there. Okay, I don't know what the deal is. Keep pulling out my SKS despite the fact that I have no ammo for it right now. Those are new. I've never seen those before. Those look very dangerous. A little bit worried about what's going on here. There's... A lot of gunshots. I do want to try and get the stash. I keep saying I'm going to end the episode, but I really want to get that stash before I do. Mm. We're getting shot at by some soldiers. Mm. Problem is, I don't know what's going on. Okay, they're, they're a bad guy. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna have to load. I think I'm gonna call it there, actually. Um, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.